Hey there and welcome back. Today I want to take a look inside a robotic lawnmower because I received a error message lately which said electric problem 501 but I unfortunately cannot show you because I forgot to hit the record button on the camera. Looking at this up in the internet it seems that it is a connection problem of the wire so to use contact spray on every connection to get rid of this problem. Let's look inside. We start by removing the four screws that fix the main part of the robot with the outer wobbly part that is to detect whether the robot has contacted any object. Then you can lift the main part out of the housing and put the housing aside. The next step is to remove the razors. But please be careful because it can cut in your flesh. And then remove the round plastic because otherwise when you do it the other way around the, the knives can again hurt you. When these two things are removed you can remove the black plastic that is under there and it reveals a metal part which is connected to a motor that is spinning which is the grass cutting of the robotic lawnmower. Next we open up four screws on the underside of the robot in order to remove the battery. Then we can lift the battery away and remove it from the housing. After that we can turn the robot around and start opening the screws visible. When all of them are removed we can remove the top plastic part which includes the display of the device and by unconnecting two connections we can put the top aside. Now we can remove the two silver screws and one on the middle where there is this orange plastic part that shows the height of the cutting of the grass. Again remove every visible screw um, on the outside and then you can take whilst removing the orange covering of the we of this circle in the middle of the picture and then remove the top plastic which covers the main electrical segment of the device. This shows us the interior and with the main board which we can remove by opening these two screws. Then we can detach any cable that is connected to the main board and take the main board out of the plastic housing. Before we get to putting contact spray all over the connections, I recognized that one of the two motors, which, is, which are connected with the wheels, is not in place and shakes a little bit when you turn the wheel and the other didn't. So we are to open them up in order to fix this problem. You start by removing the silver plastic covering the wheel and this is way easier, which I recognized at last a little bit too late, by removing the three lashes which you can see on the back side of the wheel. Then there are three screws visible and when you open them you can put the wheel aside and then there is a plastic part revealed that is again with three screws attached to the main body and when you remove them you can remove the whole motor. Taking a look inside of the motor there were just um, a few gears which is slowing the rotations of the motor. I put it back again because the problem lay within the plastic part connecting to the motor. As you can see there are four screws that attach the motor to the plastic and unfortunately these weren't tight and whilst trying to remove them they broke because there was a lot of rust on them. 
That is why, unfortunately, I only got to remove two of them and I could replace with others, which I then put in tight and the plastic is again sitting tight on the motor and it isn't moving with the rotation again. With this problem solved, I could put the motor back in place and the wheels on and then focus on the error and tidy up all connections. After this was done and then I recognized that I forgot to clean the, the cables on the upper part on the display as well, which is important too, and did this and waited again for about 15 minutes. Then I plugged all cables back in and as I described in the beginning, vice versa, put the plastic parts together and now the robotic lawnmower is working again. Thank you for watching. I hoped you liked it and if you did then please hit the button and subscribe, stay curious and bye.